everybody. This is Lego Harry Potter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with another review, this time of the Quidditch match set. This is ages 6 to 12, numbers 4, 7, 3, 7, and 153 pieces. Uh, it costs 20 bucks, 5 awesome figs, 3 hoops, um, trophy, um, Hufflepuff tower, I guess, um, stand, seating, and two of these little things that put the red ball in, quaffle, go like that, and helmets, back there, and a treasure chest. So, let's start with the minifigs. First up, we have Harry Potter. Once again, he comes in all the sets, so not really a surprise. Um, brown broom. This is supposed to be the Nimbus 2001. And yeah, uh, there's his torso. Very nice Quidditch outfit. Red uh, cape. The face double sided. Once again, and to adjust him to sit on the cape. To like fly on the broom. Ugh. Keep mixing up words. It's like this, and then he just goes. So, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I know. And just put him back. Next, we have Marcus Flint. Yeah, he has this um, kind of caveman bat. To hit the black ball, like he has a black wand. This is the Nimbus 2001. There you see his torso, green cape. There's his face, the black hair. Next, we get uh, Oliver Wood. He has exactly everything like Harry with his outfit. He has another caveman bat. His face and hair is. The Mutt Williams Indiana Jones set, it's exactly the same. Both of them have the face and hair exactly the same. So I guess Shia LaBeouf and this other British guy are similar in a way. Or Lego seems to think so. And here we have uh, Draco Malfoy. Yep. He He's kind of Harry's enemy and during the whole thing. And you see it's this little sad face when he gets hurt. There you see his face and black broom again because Jacob's dad bought them all brooms. Black brooms for the Slytherin team. There's his torso, green cape. Lastly we have um, Professor um, Hooch. Uh, yeah, there's our torso and cape. She has goggles on, she has Count Dooku hair. Then we turn it around. She has really weird, like, little gold ball eyes. And, like, red lipstick on, even though she's, like, 60 years old. Oof. Old ladies. So. Yep, um, so you do get two helmets, just like that, so let's put one on Harry to show you what they look like, yeah, on Harry it actually looks really bad, uh, so two helmets, and get this trophy stand with the Griffith door and Slytherin, um, Flags and then the trophy. So let's give the trophy to Harry again. And it is silver. It's a really nice Lego piece. Just holds it like that. We won, even though this trophy is like the same size as me. So, trophy stand. And then we have the tower, which is really not that big, but yeah. Something really in it, just a seat, 
and a broom right here. So you can just sit, Professor Hooch. Right there. Just like that, and she could be watching. Next, you get um, two of these Slither and Gryffindor. This isn't actually in the movie because they have to throw the. This is the quaffle. The red piece that has to go through the hoops. This is. They have to throw it in there. This is to make it more like they shoot it. So, I don't know why they put these four pieces here. So, let's try to shoot them in. Fail. Oh, we got it in. Let's try Slither now. Ooh, they didn't make it. Sucks for them. So, you also get two boulders that are just black circles. And you just put them all in here. Yep, just close that up. You also get um, a gold snitch for Harry to catch, which means Gryffindor wins. Yep. Then you have those three hoops. Um, this is the tallest, the shortest, and just medium. Yep. And they are all these pieces that have to go around. Yeah, pretty cool pieces. Then you have the instructions right here, and the box. Uh, yeah, pretty huge. Lego Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. There's the picture. There are the figs. Then here are the figs again. Then here's a, another picture. See Harry and Draco flying. I'll show you that from there. Yep. So that's the set. Thanks for watching this review. So, see you guys later. Goodbye.